Ageratum Houstonianum. Mexican Ageratum. Okay, the foliage sort of has a deltoid shape to it. Okay. So a triangular uh, sort of deltoid shape. Um, it's rugose. So it's got a soft feel to it. It doesn't have a tacky feel to it because it, it feels tacky right now because I had my hand on that Nicotiana. So I gotta refine my palate or cleanse my palate. It's got a very soft feel. Okay. Not a particular uh, scent of note or anything like that, but this is typical where the plants actually are uh, completely covered with these sort of um, fuzzy, frilly purple blooms. Okay. Now I believe there are uh, sort of a lighter lavender on toward the pinks and some that get a little bit closer to, uh, to blues, but this is typical of what you see. Okay sort of a, a dark purple lavender type color. Right. Uh, the bushes will get up to be somewhere between a foot, three foot tall, and just stay nice and mounded, and bloom like that uh, till the really dead heat of summer comes on along. So it's a very nice, nice plant for uh, our, our gardens. Okay? You can see foliage does get larger. It just, uh, right now, it's still sort of making doing some growth. But it's still got that deltoid shape. Maybe you can consi consider that almost an auriculate leaf base. But it's still got the deltoid shape and it's very much a quilted appearance. Okay? How long do they last? Um, right in there until it gets really hot. That's a pretty distinct flower, right? We yeah. haven't seen much no. else. Very much. Uh, there are a few other things out there that are similar to it, but not that we see. Alright. Now look, don't, uh, don't 